Hey look, we're back. It's Weather for Weather Geeks time here on this Monday evening. Hope everyone has been well. I, of course, have had some time away from uh, the studio here recently. I was uh, at the uh, National Weather Association annual meeting last week down in Huntsville, Alabama, which is a lovely place. I'd never been there. Great downtown, but boy, was it hot. We got into the upper 90s every day. At least the humidity was uh, generally not too bad. We even had a couple of we had a couple of cool thunderstorms uh, to track. If you ever want to see a bunch of uh, weather nerds get excited, just plop a thunderstorm down over a, a big weather conference. It was uh, it was a good time last week, and uh, sandwiched before and after the conference, I had a couple of uh, uh, more relaxing days, uh, if you will. And, but uh, we're back at it. And uh, oh, by the way, I caught up with uh, Frank Marzullo down at uh, the conference at the uh, broadcasters' dinner a week ago tonight. Uh, many of you, of course, remember Frank from his time here in uh, Youngstown. Got a chance to catch up with him for a, uh, a few minutes. So uh, again, a good week down in Huntsville and uh, the weather's certainly been a little bit active around here, although that's changing certainly as we go into this week. I thought since it's been a while since we've uh, done a Weather Geeks video, it's been almost two weeks, thought I'd do a little review of where we've been. And lately it's been warmer than average. After a pretty comfortable stretch of weather from just after Labor Day through about the 9th, the heat really kicked in. We, we had a 90 degree day back on the 11th and each and every day since has been at least a little bit above the average. Now, of course, here in mid-September, our averages are falling pretty quickly, both the highs and the lows. So now a 74 degree day is above average. Our average high uh, here in mid-September is about 73. So uh, yesterday we did 74. Today we did 81 degrees. With that 90 degree day back on the, uh, on the 11th, that brings our yearly tally up to 11. 90 degree plus days at the Youngstown Warren Airport in Vienna. We're not going to reach last year's number of 18, which tied 2012 uh, for the most this century, uh, but we've now equaled that very warm summer of 2011. Uh, so it's been a pretty toasty few months around here, that is for sure. We haven't had a lot of extremes, not a lot of record heat, certainly in recent months, but it's been pretty consistently very, very warm for a while now. That is uh, no secret. It goes along with longer term climate trends. And we'll talk a little bit about uh, those longer term trends coming up at the end of this video. In the meantime, we did 81 here locally today. It was 84 in Pittsburgh, 87 in New, in New Philly, and 85 in Akron. All right, it's 7.04 when I'm recording uh, Weather Geeks, and we're getting close to sunset coming up here pretty shortly. And uh, in March and September, I like to watch the sunsets on our Boardman camera because, of course, 224 is almost a pretty much exactly a due east-west uh, road. And so right around the equinox, both in, in March and in September, the sunset is almost directly lined up with 224. You are blinded if you're heading towards uh, Canfield, away from Boardman at this time of the day. The sun will set a little bit uh, to the right of 224 this evening, but then be right along 224 coming up in less than a week. And then our sunsets will start getting more and more into the southern sky as we go deeper into fall and of course into the winter time. All right, uh, here's a look at a visible satellite picture for the last handful of hours. We had a, a decent uh, deck of clouds around for a chunk of the day today, but the, the sky really cleared nicely late this afternoon and heading into this evening. Now by mid-September standards, hey, it was pretty muggy today. With dew points above 60 in mid-September, that's, you know, getting pretty humid. It wouldn't be much to write home about in July, but in mid-September, that's a pretty muggy day. But notice what the dew points are doing up here up in upstate New York, into Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. Uh, this is kind of a backdoor cold front. And what we mean by backdoor is it's not moving west to east necessarily. It's more kind of coming in from the east and moving kind of in this direction. And that will pay us dividends tomorrow because that drier air is gonna start making its way in as we go into the day Tuesday. But what a scorcher today though, for mid-September in many places. It touched 100 down in Huntsville, Alabama, where I was last week uh, today, triple digit heat parts of Alabama and Mississippi, parts of Tennessee as well. This ridge of high pressure really means some business. And overall, yeah, we're in, a, in the middle of a very warm late summer, early fall pattern. Quick trip down to the tropics. This is not a threat to land, but Umberto is still a category one hurricane with uh, maximum wind gusts of 115 pressured at uh, 972. Not a threat to the US. It may uh, very well graze Bermuda, which is out here, or may just go north of Bermuda. Uh, this will likely strengthen some over the next couple of days, perhaps peaking as a Category 3 before quickly skirting off to the north and becoming extra tropical as it encounters the cooler waters of the northern Atlantic. I mentioned those dew points coming down. Uh, we'll replace our mid-60s 
with lower and middle 50s tomorrow. It's going to be just a fantastic Tuesday. Sunshine, fair weather clouds, great day coming up for tomorrow. And Wednesday, more of the same. Dew points pretty low, pretty comfortable. That'll make for more comfortable sleeping weather at night. You can open up the windows at night because these lower dew points will allow temperatures to cool. Not much to say over the next few days. It's just going to be nice outside. Sunshine in abundance as high pressure slides off to our east. Not a cloud in the sky for Wednesday and for Thursday, Friday for that matter. Each of the next seven days will be warmer than average. When we look beyond the uh, traditional seven-day forecast and kind of start looking more into very late September, looks like a toasty pattern. Uh, this is uh, almost a slam dunk that we're going to be into a warmer than average pattern uh, for the rest of September. Maybe the occasional seasonable day, but generally that's the exception, not the rule. The rule will be warmth, and no surprise. I've been talking about this a lot this year. Uh, this goes along with a pattern that we've seen establish itself over the last four years. We've had some very warm Septembers compared to average dating back to 2015. February's and September's, the two months of the year that have been most unusually warm in recent years. Now, when we look back at longer term averages, it's interesting. The month of September is actually the month that has seen the least amount of warming when we look back at the last 30 years. Now, it's still been a little warmer than average than September was 30 years ago. Each and every month is warmer than it was 30 years ago, but September is the least, uh, uh, seen the least increase in temperatures in the longer term, but in the shorter term, last four or five years, yeah, September has been getting pretty toasty. Uh, I've gotten some questions lately about the foliage this year. Uh, what will our September weather bring as far as uh, our typical peak foliage, which of course around here occurs in October, usually somewhere between the 15th and Halloween, somewhere in that window is usually when our foliage peaks. Last year's foliage was a big thumbs down. It stunk. We had a hot and wet September. Those are two things you don't want to see if you want great foliage. What we want uh, when we uh, see this, you know, kind of run up to typical peak season, we want sunny days, cool nights, and generally dry weather. Well, we've got the dry weather. Not a drop of rain around here until Monday, and after that probably won't rain much beyond uh, that cold front on Monday. So that's a check. We've got the warm days. We've got the cool nights. Hopefully it's not too warm, though. You know, we, we don't want, uh, for, for maximum foliage, we, we don't necessarily want a bunch of days with highs in the 80s, but I've got 80s in our forecast for the upcoming weekend, but it's not going to be as wet this September as last year, and so that should help us out this year. I think this year's foliage will be better than last year, maybe not as good as, you know, some of our best years, but uh, I can say with a pretty, you know, high amount of confidence that it will be better than last year's pretty muted foliage season. All right, thanks for checking out a fresh edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. We'll have more of these videos uh, right through Thursday of this week. Hope you enjoy your Monday night. Uh, got my orange on for the Browns tonight, so go Brownies tonight. And I'll see you back here on Tuesday.